Hi everyone, so hopefully this video works. I'm using slightly different software than I usually use because um, I wanted to see if I can um, go from switch to my desktop in one smooth transition in the same video. Um, also got a new mic so hopefully it's a little bit better quality than uh, has been shown up recently. Anyway, so in this video, um, it's going to be a real quick video, it's going to show you um, the next sort of highlight uh, I want to show in the homebrew series is it's called um, FT. Once I find it, let me. I don't want to say the wrong name, but basically what it is, it's a wireless transferring of files um, from your PC to your switch or your SD card, or whatever you want to uh, call it. So it's really going to be the SD card. But um, so it is. A useful tool to have uh, because popping your SD card in and out of your switch is um, quite sort of not dangerous isn't the word I really want to use but um, I have had many SD cards just all of a sudden uh, fail on me and they don't want to um, they say it needs to be formatted to be used again you lose everything um, but and I don't know if it's the switch or my PC or the SD card reader I have um, but it's this happens to be numerous occasions um, and I just don't want that to happen to anyone to be honest so what we're going to do we're going to um, I can't seem to find it off the top of my head so and I can't remember the name of it so I'm going to this is file transfer um, and see what happens there okay so I haven't don't seem to have it installed here but there are numerous apps that are going to let you do this and it's basically um, file transfer um, protocol uh, F FTP is what it is and you're going to want get one of these files and any one of them will let you uh, access um, file transfer so let's just install this one for instance and so many of them are they're, they're simple user interfaces so you don't want to um, get yourself uh, complicated or confused with what's going on all you're doing is activating a wireless communication between your switch and your PC so let's just um, pop back to our um, homebrew menu and um, so that was the one I used to have there it's actually installed to it's FTPD Pro 3.1.0 that's the one I have used and that's the one I actually do want it to highlight um, but let's go to the one I downloaded anyway uh, so it's exactly the same it's just a classic version that's the one we just downloaded so 3.1.0 but um, FTPD um, is the one you want so let's do this one because this is the one I just showed you how to download and all you do you, you uh, start it and at the top um, you're going to want to really pay attention to this here it is it says uh, start a server at 192.168.0.50 and then 5000 so 5000 is going to be the ports that we use okay so now I'm going to show you um, I'm going to minimize my rocks here um, which is showing my switch and I'm going to uh, go to the app on my um, PC so I'm going to link this in the description um, it's called FileZilla um, there are like, once again there are loads of options to uh, for file transfer but this one is super easy and it is um, also free to use uh, you don't need to pay for it um, it just does the job real easy so up here you can see we've got host and don't worry about using no password because you not you haven't got one and port so what we typed in earlier was um, uh, what it said sorry on the switch is what we need to do so I'm going to go back to it real quick so I forgot it 192.168.050 and 5000 and we'll just type that in here so 192.168.0.50 and then over in the port was what it said 5000 and quick connect and as you can see it has um, showing up all my files that are on my uh, switch SD cards so this is exactly like I would have put, uh, put in my SD card and it's showing all the files right there really easy to use and then all you need to do is just drag the file from your PC into this window here so I've got a window open here with my um, homebrew files my nro files which we use and hopefully you'll know they go in the switch folder here so and if I want to copy them over I could just drag it over and as you can see at the bottom here it's just copied it across so jksv is a um, 
saving program and that is as simple as it gets so that is copied over to the SD card already and then if we go back to our switch you can see there's done some communication and it's confirmed that it's um, copied it all over don't worry about all this stuff here coming up because it's not anything that you need to worry about or need to um, no, really, to be honest, it's just it's transferred the file over. You can confirm that on your FileZilla um, app, which we'll go back to now, and you can see it there, jksv.nro. Uh, so, if we go back to our switch now, um, so we can just uh, exit out of this app. So I'm just going to press the home menu and then go back into my um, homebrew menu. And you don't even need to reboot your switch um, for some of these. So some of them you will, obviously, uh, depending on what it is. But um, now I have two JK SVs um, installed, as you can see there, because I did actually already have it installed. So I've got two copies of that file that I've copied over. But as you can see, it's there ready to um, use. I don't need to reboot, I'm not popping my SD card out, I'm not risking it being uh, corrupted and need formatting again very simple to use very straightforward so that is it if you want to transfer massive files over it can still do that you just need to make sure you um, keep your switch screen awake which you can change in your settings so I'll just pop back to my settings on my switch here to show you so if it's um, plugged into oh, I didn't want to press sleep mode bit of a delay on this new software but um, so you can go to your screen lock here and uh, not screen lock, sorry. I think it's all the way at the bottom, um, sleep mode. So um, on sleep mode, you can choose do different settings. So if you've got it in the dock um, or playing on TV screen, I see I've got my set to an hour and I've got it on the console screen for 10 minutes. You need to uh, change those settings if you are transferring big files because they take quite a while to copy over. Um, so you could change it to never or 12 hours. So still it does go to sleep after the files are completed. I don't think any files would take 12 hours to copy over. But um, just in case you are transferring big files, make sure you uh, change your system settings to so it doesn't go to sleep. Or you can just sit there and keep the screen awake yourself by touching the screen or using the Joy-Con. Um, Joy -Con. But once again, real simple app to use. Hopefully, um, yeah, I've made sense of what it is, but it's literally just download the FT, uh, FTPD program on your Switch and uh, from the App Store and get FileZilla for your PC. And you can just copy files over without having to turn your Switch off or reboot. And another thing by taking your SD card out is that you need to get your jig out and your, your RCM um, little. Uh, whether well, it's RCM jig and your uh, dongle to reboot into your homebrew, we don't need to do this. By you can just leave your switch on. Anyway, guys, once again, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care.